Hello everyone, I'm Modi here from Retarget Com YouTube channel and this will be another video in this episode end-to-end -end framework playlist video series. So in last video, I have already added the dependency of action report and I created one class where I am simply creating an instance of action report and I am configuring the configuring the extend spark report and I am attaching it. Okay, so you can see that code is here. Now we need to think how can we actually use this feature so that my test cases when I run the test cases then action report should be generated. So there are multiple ways actually you can do. You can have some, you can use the test and generation like before suite or before class, whatever you want to do, you can use annotation or you can have some different base class where you are loading all these prerequisites like uh, uh, initializing the report and all you can put that stuff there also. But I feel that using the TSNG listeners are really good way of implementing the basic stuff for your framework. This is not only for this API reporting or API framework, you can use the same thing for your senior framework as well. So TSNG listeners is an interface which have already some methods. That methods I can show you now. So but before that, let me go and create a new class under the reporting. Maybe I will create it as setup. Okay. Why I'm calling it a setup because I want to set up my base thing, base configuration when I start executing my test cases. So you'll understand why I'm giving the name it as setup. So let me create a new class called setup and this setup will implement one interface given by testng that is called i test listeners. So here explicitly I'm making one mistake that I will correct later. Okay. But as of now, just implement one interface called i test listeners. Okay, if you see here, IT listeners are not coming because if you go to pom.xml and if you go to testng dependency, then you will find here it is scope is test. If you are adding any dependency with the scope at test, then you can use this method or this dependencies of testng or method classes of testng within the test folder itself. Okay, but if you remove this, if you want to use in main method also, then you should remove this scope. Okay, and just refresh the dependencies here, right? Maven dependencies. So now if I go here in the setup, so I should get the I test listeners. Yeah, we can see it's coming from testng. If you go to this interface, so here you can see we have some default methods, right? On test start, on test success, on test failure, on test escaped. So these are already some methods given which will automatically executed when you when you start the execution means if your your test case is start running right so they will call not test case but the test section okay you can understand this part here inside the testing.xml we have this test right you can have multiple test blocks inside a suite so that's why here we have on start on finish okay once classes of this particular test will be start executing before that they will call this method automatically it will be called by default there is no statement inside this method because they don't know what to set up right that's why they are asking you to okay you can set up this method so that automatically I will be calling these listeners or listeners methods for you okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to create my extend report when the when the test is going to execute it okay so for that we have one method on start okay on 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 finish so if you see here when we implemented the interface which is not forcing you to implement any method why because we don't have any abstract method here we have default method default method in the interface is possible from java 8 onwards okay that's why it is not forcing you to go and implement the body for these methods because these are default these are not abstract methods so let me copy these two methods okay and let me provide the body so obviously we need to remove the default i will use public and same thing here these are like core java concept in the interface with the default method you can go and explore more about that what is default method interface but yeah this is the way you can implement you can uh, give you can override actually so on start what I want to do 
I want to generate my extended report. So if extended report, we need to have some file name, right? We need to ensure that where the where my what is my file name, right? You cannot give like a test automation report and this because when you are rerunning the test cases, it will be overwritten. So it is always good practice to attach the timestamp. Okay, attach the timestamp to the your report name. Okay, so what what I what I should do? I should create the report name plus I should append the current time so that we can easily identify later also when this report was executed. So instead of giving that uh, report, generating the report name with the timestamp, instead of writing the code here, what I'm going to do, I will go to extend report manager and I will create a utility method here, which will give me the report name with the timestamp automatically. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a method public. I will uh, again use static then a string and I can name it like get report name with time stamp okay so what I use I use the date time formatter okay date time formatter equal to new date time no sorry not new into your date time formatter of pattern I will give a pattern here in which pattern you want to print the date means y y y d d d m m what whatever you want to do you can do so I am going to use the timestamp means date and timing as well so for that I can use y y y then m m d d h h m m s s okay so it will give me year then uh, month okay only the number then date then it will give hour minute and seconds so this format you can easily get it from google whatever you want whatever you way you want to attach the timestamp you can attach it okay so i'm going to use the basic one where i'm just attaching the date and time so let me generate the local date time now local date time and uh, local date time equal to local date time dot now there's a method it will give you the local date time and I'm going to format this. Okay. So what will the format? I have the already date time formatter, date time formatter dot format, and I will pass the local date time. It will give me the string. Okay, it give me the formatted formatted time. So let me give it proper name like formatted time. And I will create a string report name and maybe i can give it like uh, test report then i will simply attach the formatted time and then i will attach the dot html because this is html report okay and i will simply return the file name so extend report will be generated with the test report and with the current time okay dot html so this utility i have created inside the extend report manager itself so that i can use this method in setup class so a string file name and I will have extend report major dot get report with timestamp okay so a spelling of a string is gone so let me correct it and I have already one method in, in extend report major dot create instance okay here I am going to pass the file name and report name so I can pass like test api automation report i will show you where it is printed so just give you can give any name and document title will be like again test execution report you can give anything and this create instance is returning you returning me a action report instance right so let me store it here okay so if I just using it here means if I'm creating the action report instance here so obviously I cannot use it further so what I'm going to do I'm going to create it at global level and I will name it private only okay private ex static extend reports extend reports okay so I will simply remove this part and I will use this name here okay so inside the i test listener we have one method on start this i am overriding and in this method i am just doing i am just creating my extend report okay and after finishing if you want to uh, means report 
all the test execution report data will be written in the report but after end end of the execution we need to flush it then only report will be generated okay so we need to have that implementation of that code inside the on finish okay means like when execution is done finish it so what you can do i will simply put a check also if action report is not null then action report dot flush okay so this this will gen this will generate the action report and after execution we should flush it so that my action report will be generated and here i did again one mistake here i am just giving the file name okay file name it will give you like this correct only this one but we need to give some path also right where it should go and store it okay so what i am going to do i will create another variable like a string uh, full report path what i want inside the main directory like system dot get property user dot dir okay in, inside this i want to create a folder maybe i can give the name as like reports okay and sorry reports then i will attach the file name okay so inside this one inside this one a folder will be created under reports okay not in the src in the main root folder okay user.dir here one reports folder will be created inside report i will have that report with that file name whatever i have will be generated at that time okay so this report full report path i will providing here so let's stop here in this video and in the next video we will further see how can we use the extend report in our test cases now okay there are so many things to learn here still but yeah let's go step by step so if you need doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone